welcome back. Sorry, I'm playing Skyrim in the background, but I decided to make this video because, uh, a comment told me, um, how do I download my mods? So here's how I download them. I usually use apps like Blockmaster for Minecraft Pocket Edition, or another really good one is utk.io. That one, you can literally make your own skin as well. Except, be warned. Once you make your skin, you cannot use your other imported skins imported through other, like, devices. This is a really good app. This is how I make my textures. If we go here, you can see... I have all my textures here. I don't know why one of them was named that. I usually just have random names on them the, when I can't think. Oh, yeah, you get... Okay, so there are the occasional ads, but... Yeah, alright, so these pictures are usually not gonna be real. Because once you download the texture... It looks completely different from what you actually downloaded. But yeah, basically, an example is... Alright, but yeah, anyways, you do get the occasional ads. But, you can open up your game now. And once you log right on, it should say... It should already be imported, so you don't have to, like, wait for it to say importing. Yeah, you also have this app, which is, uh... Hold on. I forget what it's called. I forgot it was Master PE. But, anyways, when you want to download mods and textures, you just go to the tab. And you could search up a texture. Uh, the way I found my PvP texture was by simply just... Putting the three letters. This is the one I downloaded. The one with this really small sword. There's also this one. Which is also basically the same one. Wait, you know what? Now that I think about it, this one might look a bit better. We might download it in a bit. Um, you know what? Yeah. DoorDash. Sorry, that's Dasher. I'm sorry. My mistake. You only get ads that are... So basically, for this one, you only get, like, normal ads, not the creepy or long, like, video ads. You just get, like, picture ads. That's all you get. You could just simply press close. You can also search up maps, such as Last Day on Earth, Null Shadow Return, the McDonald Mystery. I don't know. I, I, I don't download maps. They're usually really, really old maps. You can tell by, like, what version it looks like they've been added in. Like, the Diamond Edition. The, like, the Glowstone. You could tell that's, like, the old texture for it. They have Hello Neighbor on here. Someone really went through all the trouble to making the Hello Neighbor house. When was it? Like, back in 2014? McDonald Mystery 2. You, you have a bunch of those. You have seeds as well. Temple and village, but these are really old seeds as well, so I don't recommend using any of these seeds. They're most likely going to be old seeds. Yeah, you can tell by, like, the lava. <clears throat> now, if you want textures, like I said, you go here. And if you want a shader, you go 64 by 64, and you you will just get some texture packs, right? That's where UTK that's where UTK comes in handy. As you can see, this is literally just a shader. You can go here to tags. Whoops. You can go to tags, realistic. And you'll get all these different shaders. Some of them don't even load the picture. You can literally get a multi-pixel shader right here. This multi but it's not it's not 1.18, I guess, according to the comment. But yeah, it's multi-pixel. And it makes your crafting book thing oh look like I don't know. Oh look, Dragonborn. I don't know what he's doing here. You can get this short sword for PvP. I think I already have this one. I don't? Okay, I'm downloading it. Alright, anyways guys, 
that's how you download texture packs, and that's how I get my texture packs, at least. Other people have other ways of doing it. I just get my own texture packs, you know, because... From here, because I honestly... If there, there might be better ways, but this is my recommended way of getting textures. And this is also my recommended way of getting... Not skins, definitely not skins, because there's some really... Hey, are you guys playing... Close that. There's some kind of bad skins on here. Yeah. I don't know, I, I just don't let it see anything in these skins. They don't have the red Enderman. That makes me mad. If I search up red Enderman. They don't have my Enderman. Oh yeah, also on the other app, you cannot search up for any ski specific skins. They just give you tags. Which is really boring. No, Enderman! What? Why did it put a space? Okay, hold on. Does it work? Nope. Yeah, as you can see, my old skin is on this app. Luckily, I still have it saved. Wait. What? Hey, are you guys- Hey, get rid of that ad. Stop. Wait. Is this- Did I- I made this. I don't even remember. Oh my gosh, it's being downloaded. Let's go. Insane. I made a skin and I I forgot about it. I remember making this. Yeah, I did make a skin on here. If you want a red Enderman, simply just search that up. But I don't use it because I don't really like how it looks, honestly. But if you guys like it, you can go on here and download it. Anyways, see you all later. Uh, and have a fantastic day. Name, version, channel log, how much of your skin is finished, 100%. Anyways, that's gonna do it for the video, hope you all enjoyed, and see you all.